Well, the weather's going to be tough for the cats, dogs, humans, Anybody. everybody, coyotes, <laughs> uh, because we're going to have a good amount of rain moving in later on tonight. Right now, though, it's mainly just light shower activity. You can see a few uh, areas of light rain across the upstate Anderson County, Lawrence County, and then extending up into western North Carolina, patchy light rain. But we've got much more off to the south and west. It's ahead of the main system. So notice this is basically just light shower activity ahead of the main event where you can see some heavy showers and thunderstorms along a warm front moving through Alabama right now. Cold front pulling in strong storms toward Huntsville and we'll experience all of that. Strong storms, maybe a few of those, especially south of I-85, but the bigger threat is just going to be general heavy rain that moves through late or late tonight into the early part of tomorrow. That system extends all the way down to New Orleans with a tornado threat there. But that threat should stay to our south as we go toward late tonight and early tomorrow. So flood watch continues for our entire area. Two to four inches of rain possible. That's through Friday and then should wrap up Saturday morning. Uh, wind advisory because this is a strong system, a lot of dynamics at play. So gusts in the mountains could get over 40 miles per hour by early tomorrow morning and really through the day on Friday. Tonight, 46 degrees in the upstate showers early, but then it gets heavier late night in the mountains. It could be around 3 a.m. I think toward the morning commute, we'll see the heaviest activity across upstate areas. You can imagine we're going low on the sky meter with just a three because this is going to be a soggy day. At least after about 4 p.m., we'll see big improvements. Here's a look to this evening, 7 p.m., just light showers. It does pick up, though, 10 p.m., beginning to see a more steady rain build in. And we'll see that off and on through the overnight. Notice 5 a.m. seeing some heavier rain into western North Carolina, 10 a.m. And then here it comes into the upstate, but loses a little bit of its punch as it does. So we're going to have a greater threat for some flooding in western North Carolina as we see a little bit more persistent heavy rainfall. All of it starts to move out toward around 5 p.m. We will have a threat for some thunderstorms. There's a marginal risk of severe weather, which is the lowest end risk. Uh, gusty winds would be the main issue the second half of Friday, mainly south of I-85. And here's a look at the estimates on rainfall. I'd say about an inch and a half to two inches will be common with locally higher amounts than that. By Saturday, temperatures in the 60s and dry. Won't that be a nice reward after today or after Friday, rather? Uh, and then it looks like rain builds right back in Sunday and we carry that into the new year. But I don't think it's going to rain the whole time. We're going to fine tune when the heaviest rain will move in so you can plan your festivities, of course, and uh, we'll get that together for you over the next couple of days. You